Hi everyone, my name is Holly and I'm the editor of International Airport Review. I'm joined here by Mar uh, Roberto Martin Davada, Head of Facilitation and Passenger Experience Department at IENA. So Roberto, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me, Holly. So my first question is, what trends are you observing with your passengers that you are using to inform your customer experience strategy? Well, uh, passengers want more. They want more than ever. I think uh, that's the big trend from, from my point of view. And I will give you two examples. Uh, first one is uh, sustainability. Uh, this is not a new trend. We're seeing it, uh, especially since the pandemic. People, passengers want to know what we're doing in terms of sustainability because they are concerned. We are too. But now we're seeing that passengers uh, expect us to have a, a leading and very active role in the industry. And this is something that we have happily accepted. We have talked about that in the past. You know how committed we are to, to sustainability. And a second example is the personalization of, of passenger journey. Passengers want now the passenger journey to be so personalized as possible. While, for example, we have uh, passengers who prefer a 100% seamless experience at our airport, we also have passengers who prefer to be assisted by, by a person. So we have to offer a big variety of options because they want to decide. And that's a big trend. And, and a big, an important point here is what happens if something's going wrong. And, our passengers want to know that we are there in case that we have to fix something. Mm. And they want to know that there are people there caring of them and caring of their experience. <clears throat> and uh, you are applying a holistic data-driven approach. So what data has been of most use to you when setting the airport experience and how did you use it? It's not easy to pick one because it's the combination of all of them what makes it useful. You know, we have uh, traditional service, instant feedback, input from the commercial area, our, mm. one, uh, the hotline, complaints, and also Google reviews, uh, our social channels. But we also have, do service to airlines. We have um, a mystery passenger program. We have real passengers analyzing every touch point of the passenger journey. And we even have a chatbot called uh, Oli. Some of these sources are not new, I know, but what it's new and that's what we're changing is uh, to integrate all those sources into one single platform. With that platform, it's kind of a big dashboard. We are all at AENA um, aware we can see what uh, what passengers want, what passengers are telling us, and most importantly, what passengers feel. All about the emotion, like you yeah. spoke about last yeah. time. Um, and then finally, how do you deliver the personalized experience that you spoke about um, within your network of 46 airports? <laughs> You're right, 46 airports in Spain, but also two heliports. Of course. And internationally, you know, we're in London Luton and also in Brazil, managing already 17 airports. And we're also present in Mexico, Jamaica and Colombia. That makes a total of around 411 million passengers last year. That makes China uh, the largest airport operator worldwide. Our slogan is Airports for You. And that represents very well our approach to, to passenger experience. As you may imagine, with this big variety of airports and passengers, we have to exploit it as a network. And that's what, what we're doing. We are in a constant conversation with our passengers. And that means a lot of data, a lot of feedback. That, that feedback leads to a lot of data that we have to not only have it, but to analyze it. We, we have to create value of, of that data. And we're seeing that uh, most of that data is driven by emotions. So we have to go there and understand our passengers' emotions. But none of this would be possible without the people, without the people who create our airports, 
and who create at the, de at the, end, at the end of the day uh, infinite experiences for our passengers. Roberto, that was my final question. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. My pleasure.